All right, everybody, there are a million dreams in New York, right? One place has been helping dancers and performers achieve them for more than 40 years. Yeah, Steps on Broadway is the place for everyone to train. And PIX 11's Kirsten Cole is joining us live from the Upper West Side with more on this. Good morning, Kirsten. Show us some moves. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Dana Hazel. You know what? I'm going to leave the moves to the people who actually know how to make them because otherwise it could get a little dicey on this end. But Hazel, I know you as a dance mom, you know about Steps on Broadway. This is one of those places that is absolutely legendary. Whether you want to be a ballet dancer, whether you want to be at Lincoln Center, whether you want to be dancing on Broadway, this is the place where so many of those dancers are honing those skills and launching those careers. And to talk with two of the people involved, in the day to day, we want to bring in Joe Lantieri, the executive director of Steps and an incredible dancer himself, and also Heather Hawk, who is a dancer and now a dance teacher, bringing it to the next generation. Thank you so much for being here this morning, guys. And I want to talk to you about the fact that you're providing scholarship money for young dancers. Talk about how you service dancers from the very littlest to those as we age and we just want to pursue the love. We feel honestly that we are keeping the legacy of the original founder of Steps, Carol Palmgarden, alive. And in doing so, we've got the scholarship fund. And we this year in 2022, we've given out more than $100,000 to dancers in need. I mean, that's incredible. You talk about Carol's legacy. She started with one studio, one studio. 40 years ago. 11 studios. Do you even have any idea how many dancers have rolled through here and worked at the bar? Hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of thousands, yeah, no doubt right? about it, from around the world. This is that kind of a place. And you talk about the New York dance community. Everybody from all around the country and here in the five boroughs wants to be performing and dancing. They come through Steps. They do, definitely. They really do. The ballet, jazz, you name it, they come to Steps to take class. It's yeah, an international studio. You took classes here as a younger person yourself as you were pursuing your dance dreams. I did, and one of the best things of Steps is being a professional dancer and having a place to come to hone your skills when you're not in season or if you need a little extra help. When you're not on the stage, Correct. in the midst of a performance, right. in that grueling work, but to keep it all going. To keep it all going and to have a different voice telling you how to help your technique, your career, your mindset. I mean, it's dance, a, it's, 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 it's art, so it's all about collaboration as well. Definitely, you have to learn how to function in a group, you have to learn how to function by yourself, you have to learn how to deliver in the moment. So this is a place that helps you facilitate all those tools and to be able to know that you can also provide the vital funding that people need True. because it shouldn't be a barrier to pursue your dream never and the other important thing about what we do here it's a community and you can't forget that about the dance world the community that we offer at steps is is second to none and it goes hand in hand with the with the training so this right now is what's known as an open adult class yes at 945, you never know who's going to walk through the room. That's one of the best parts of my job. Uh, Anybody, any ability, any age. Any age, friends. I had a friend come in last week, and I thought, oh, my God, I haven't seen you in four years. But it's a terrific place. And a big benefit on Monday. Big benefit Monday night at the Joyce Theater, raising more money and awareness of the Carol Palm Garden Fund and hopefully attracting more talent that wants to come and pursue their dreams here at Step. All the talent, and we get to see yes. them play out on Broadway and at Lincoln Center. Thank you so much for giving us the inside scoop on this, the class happening today. And, of course, if you want to be a part of the benefit, you can log on to Pix11.com to find out more about that. We're live at the storied Steps on Broadway. I'm Kirsten Cole, Pix11 News. Back to you, Dan and Hazel. Yeah, and they do have so many great classes for everyone. Thanks, Kirsten. And now we'll head it out to yeah, uh, sure. our resident dancer, Dan. Yes, said nobody ever, right? <laughs> it's like, uh, as New York <laughs> begins to resurge and rebuild after the Second World War, two artists with big dreams are making their way to the Big Apple. This is all based loosely on the movie and more on the song, New York, New York. So this brand new musical, born and headed to Broadway, and along with it comes some original songs, big band favorites that you are bound to get stuck in your head. So I went behind the scenes to see how the world goes around and around. Take a look. They're cheering for me now. Can you hear them cheering for me now? What began as a lot of lunches turned into a gourmet production with Tony winners Lin-Manuel Miranda and John Kander mixing up the perfect musical recipe. We worked on a song together uh, in 2018, I think. And then one day he called me and said, hey, that song we wrote, 
can I use it? I'm, I'm working on this little thing called New York, New York. We got a chance to get in the rehearsal room and check out some of those big numbers. Same music, different accent. Uh, that really started as 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 his as his song, and I just loved it. And then I just did a little a couple of tweaks here and there. But you know, it's again, it it speaks to that thing of of New York, of like we all come from our own cultures and our own rhythms, and then we make this tapestry that could only be New York City. New York, New York starred Robert De Niro and Liza Minnelli on the big screen, bringing their own Francine and Jimmy to life on stage. Is Anna Uzella and Colton Ryan. Both came to the city with their own New York dreams. I know exactly what that feels like. I showed up in this city five years ago with a backpack. I planned to be here for a weekend and accidentally stayed five years. It's very much like the show, My New York Story, or at least that's, it's philosophically, the making of this show is very much the way I feel about New York. It is, um, it's all love and it's all heartbreak and it's all triumph and it's all melancholy and it's, it's that vamp. Bam, 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 for director and choreographer Susan Stroman, it's all about resilience of New Yorkers. If I can make it there, I can make it anywhere. If I, can make it there. I really believe, and I've said this often, that New York is the greatest social experiment that the world has ever seen. Anna's character, Francine, faces some difficult challenges as her star continues to rise, something the actress can relate to in her own life. Her entire journey is one of discovering who she is and, and stepping into who she's supposed to be in the world, and, and then also dealing with the fact that she is a black woman in the 1940s and she's not always seen the way she sees herself. For Colton Ryan, this is something he knew he had to do. I saw Crazy For You at my local theater come through town and I thought like, I gotta be that guy. No one thinks I can tap. I'll show them. That's what I thought. You saw, they'll see. And expect to get a little choked up by the bigger than life character we call New York. When the guy pulled the light bulb and said, I love this city, I burst into tears because we've been through so much um, and we're tough and we're resilient. The show is a love letter to all of that. Excited for this to open. New York, New York starts previews on Friday, March 24th, just a few days away, right? Tomorrow. St. James Theater. You can go to pix11.com and find out how to get tickets. When you have the folks like Lynn Manuel Miranda, John Kander, who's behind Chicago and Cabaret, mm -hmm. used to be part of the whole duo, Kander and Ebb, right? It's going to be a hit. I got the chills. Right. It's going to be awesome. Ah, so excited for it. All right, 922. Young performers from across the tri state area got advice from some big stars ahead of a big show. And one little girl, not going to throw away her shot, no. You know they're gonna go crazy when you do that, right? Look at this room. They're gonna go crazy in here. All those people are gonna be cheering for you. That's right. Tracy Morgan and the Radio City Rockettes served as mentors during a rehearsal for the 2023 Garden of Dreams talent show yesterday. Garden of Dreams Foundation gives young people life-changing access to opportunities like these to foster their skills, really help shape their future, right? Talent show is free. will take place on April 19th at Radio City. We That's going to be phenomenal, too. I mean, gosh, so many great things happening in go. this city.